Hey everybody, how's it going? So today I really wanted to apologize for all the people who are subscribers to our forum who have been dealing with technical issues over the past several months. It's completely inexcusable and it's garbage on my part that I've allowed this to continue as long as it has. So I'm truly sorry. So th we have a forum over here at boards.rossmangroup.com. It's 29 bucks a month to post. It is free to view. So I learned a lot about many different topics over the years by just finding smart people on forums and reading every single thing they had to say, just going through their post history. And I wanted to kind of provide something like that here. So in the beginning, about five or six years ago, I used to actually answer all the border pair questions that I got back when I had 8,000 subscribers. And then once I had, you know, 200,000, 500,000, that became completely and utterly unsustainable. I would be sitting here until four in the morning every day, and I still would not be able to get through them all. So I started this forum where people can ask questions. And it, since there is a $29 a month membership fee in order to post, I can actually pay people that answer questions. So there are several technicians that answer questions in this forum that are considerably more intelligent and more experienced than I am in the craft of border pair. They're so good at this that when you say a problem, they'll say, measure this, that, and the other. Oh yeah, it's this that's wrong. And the person will go, wow, it was that that's wrong. How'd you know? And the way they know is because the person answering the question has seen that problem 2,000 times before. Now, I have lots of pages on this forum. There's like 636 pages. This stuff is going back to 2016, early 2016 with questions. And I really don't want to lose this because all of the stuff that's in this forum is accessible to anybody. Even if you have to pay to ask questions and get the time of the technicians, because I'm paying these technicians to be on this forum, all of this stuff, all these problems you can read through and learn for free. The problem I'm having is that the subscription method where you pay the 29 bucks a month to get access to the forum has been broken for about six months now. So it used to be you sign up, you get your account activated, you can post. Now you sign up, you get your account activated, and actually no, you don't get your account activated because of the bulletin. So well, I noticed if you look at this transaction log here that right at December 2nd, it just stopped taking them. Every now and then over the years, it's been a little buggy, like one subscription would get missed a month. But on December 2nd, it stopped taking any subscription at all. So I opened a ticket with vBulletin on this because I used to host my own vBulletin forum about a year and a half ago, just because I didn't want to have to deal with upgrades, updates, patches, and all that. I decided to go to their hosting platform. So it's their hosting, their software, you know, balls in their court. So I talked about the problem. They said, thanks for contacting us. They asked me about the PayPal URL. And this took about a week to hear back. I said, admittedly, it took me a while to respond to them. But I said, no, same issue. Uh, that was January 17th. February 5th, there is no reply for, to what I said on January 17th. February 6th, nothing. Uh, on February 10th, they asked for the transaction log on PayPal and vBullet in the IPN URL. So I gave them a very detailed amount of information here that showcases the entire problem. So I gave them the transaction log. I showed them a payment that I'm probably going to censor out here because you don't need to see this person's email. I showed the rest of that person's payment history. I showed their account here that I had to manually activate. And this was on February 12th. On February 17th, no reply. On February 20th, they asked about whether I changed my site URL and ignored the rest of the information that I provided um, and nothing else. On March 2nd, I said, no, I haven't changed my site URL since this happened. And then on March 9th, I haven't heard anything from this post on the 20th. So I reply, nothing, nothing. And then March 12th, I become a total Karen. I said, I'm trying to be broke, a patient, but this is broken. And this is something I could never do to paying customers, which is the truth. I can't, if I ignored a paying customer for a week or two weeks or three weeks, that would be an instant chargeback. And then on April 15th, a month and three days later, I said, this is still not working a month later. Please let me know if you can troubleshoot. May 5th, I ask, it's May do you have any plans on helping me with this? And it's obvious at this point that they have none. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it took me a little bit of time to reply to them, but like after I reply to you, you're, you're, you're getting paid to reply to this. It's like, this is your job to reply to this. I have customers that will take a week to reply to me, but I don't then take two months to reply to them because I pay somebody a salary to 
respond to them as soon as they respond to us. It's the way business works. And so I have a couple of questions here. The first is I mentioned this problem in a live stream a while ago, and somebody talked about some forum software that was, that essentially took all the developers from vBulletin that were good, and they started their own forum. I forgot the name of that. If you could remind me of that, that would be great. Because the main issue here. I, I don't mind if I lose the paid subscriptions and have to start over from scratch. I mean, you know, customers may be a little aggravated, but, you know, we'll, we'll work through it or maybe give people some free, free comp time or whatever for their trouble. What I'm really concerned about here is losing hundreds of pages of threads because all of this stuff right here, this is all knowledge. This is, this is a library. This is a library of everything to do with MacBook boards. It goes over basic problems. Noobs will post questions with you know basic issues and then someone will answer them and then someone else who's a noob can walk through and then figure it out on their own. This is an excellent way to learn and I don't want to lose all this because vBulletin sucks. Is there some other software out there where I can migrate to and not lose all these threads? Uh, and the second question that I have is just out of sheer curiosity, as a business owner, what would you do if you were me? So let's say that I suck as a business owner and I don't, I can't motivate people to do their job. What would you do to get them to do their job? Because to keep in mind here, I I've paid for two licenses at this point, which is about 500 bucks. But then after that, I decided I'm not going to host either of my two, these two forums on my own website, any web hosting anymore. I'll pay for your more expensive hosting so that you host it so that if there's a problem, you deal with it. And I did that about a year and a half ago. Yes, a year and a half ago that I migrated over to the their cloud system uh, long before this issue happened. But it, the onus is really on them at this point because it's their cloud hosting, it's their software, it's their forum. The, there's, there's really no excuse for something like this. What would you do to convince them, hey, I'm a paying customer. Would you, you, would you mind doing your job? Like, Would you mind responding? Would you mind figuring out why this advertised feature of your paid software doesn't work? Or after I give you the transaction log and all the information for what's going on on your server, can you look into it or do something or anything? What would you do to convince them that it's in their best interest to do their job? Because honestly, I, I don't know how this works. You know, usually I, I pay someone, they do a job, but I've, I've been having bad luck with that lately. Like the Eugenes, the Architects, the V-Bulletins, I, <laughs> I feel like I broke a mirror stroked a black cat recently or something. I don't know what it is. But what would you do to to essentially incentivize them to actually do their job and answer your question? Like, oh, well, what am I doing wrong here that I could be doing better so that in this ticket I could actually get a reply? Because like this, th this is me totally being a Karen, but this is me being a Karen after like, like several months of getting ignored. We, 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 but still, I don't, I don't even think that this really would have changed anything. Like, What would you do as me to try to get this solved? please do let me know in the comments down below. And again, to the people who've been using this forum for months who have been dealing with this shit, I am truly sorry. I really am. Uh, and I am working as quickly as I can to get this resolved. I will see you all in a later video. Thank you for watching. And as always, I hope you learned something.